your boy yes, Sean. Sir. And of course, we it's smoking with Sean. We and on today's freaking video, we got my boy Ro in the building. If you don't know who Ro is, is one of my closest friends and also my cameraman. When I say one of my cameramans, because I have two. But he's also one of my cameramans. If you've seen on the gram, I'm always posting Mr. Flash Photographer. You don't know who that is? That's the man behind the lens, right? Here. That's your boy, Ro. If you don't know, go follow me on the gram. You'll see him. Best pictures probably on my page is with the Mr. Flash Photography. Always got the best flicks. Make sure you check out his, his photography page at Mr. Flash Photography. I, I will be leaving his at in the description down below. So, if y'all don't know, my mans don't smoke no more. He used to, but he stopped. But today, he was like, I'll do it for you, man. I'll hop on your channel and do it. So today, he already see, he already got a wood rolled up. So I feel like, you know, me, I'm already out. So I got to catch up. You know what this is? This is my box, man. This is my box. You got the wood, the scissors, the Dutchess. I told you, you got to sponsor me, Dutch. You got to. You got the good time woods. Got you some crud. Got you the scale. And you know me. I keep the rolls on me. You know? But never go wrong. And it always keep the keep the big. <laughs> right. And what he said, never go wrong. Right. You don't want to go wrong, bro. That's not the way to go. So since he gotta do it, <laughs> I'ma give me a wood. I'ma get a wood. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a wood. Ship he don't got a paper on here, so I ain't gonna put a paper on mine. <laughs> you know I know me, i I mess with the papers. So before I get to rolling this up, I wanna ask you one question, bro. Why did you stop smoking? It's such a beautiful thing. I mean, I stopped smoking, you know what I'm saying? I started for like the fun of it. Right. And like, on some bullshit. And shit. But then I was like, bro, I'm not feeling shit. I'm like, fuck this shit. And I just stopped smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, that's ain't it. Then I started drinking. So right. Like, I was like, yeah. I fell in love with liquor more than weed, honestly. Okay, I mean, that's, 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 that's a lot of people's opinion, you know? That's a lot of people's opinion, right. you know. But not trying to stop you right there. Like, like I said on my snap, if you don't follow me, it's heartless dot shine, always in the link. But good times got the the best woods, man. Look at it, so Watch how I do this. Hope that bitch ain't got a stem like my shit had mine. Oh, they always got stems, man. Let me show y'all how to do this. So you were just doing for the whim, and you stopped because you're like, eh. Mm -hmm. But you found, you know, you found liquor. So. Off, off topic, this off the subject. Since you fell in love with liquor, what would you say is your favorite now? Vodka, tequila, rum? Fuck vodka. Oh yeah. Fuck vodka? So if it's fuck vodka, then what are you drinking on? Shit. Uh, first, I fucked with any first. But then, when a nigga I introduced to do say, I was like, fuck mm, it. Right. Cause it's more smooth than I like. I had that bitch with ever fresh lime. Mm -hmm. And like, that bitch so smooth, like when you mix it, you know, you don't taste the do say. So you fuck around, you can get that shit, mix it together, you probably be off your ass. Like, cause you're not gonna taste, you just gonna be taking that bitch cause it tastes like juice mixed together cause it's so smooth and that shit just. That's what I prefer. That shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got a freaky bitch, you know what I'm saying? So here, you see here, we fresh. Let me probably, let me see if I got a bigger, but. So he's smoking on um, gorilla cookie. You know, he's smoking on um, gorilla cookie, and it's it's hard. It's it's soft. I mean, not soft, but you know, it's hard, and it and it's, it don't break up into dust, but you know, it breaks up into good nugs. It good good nugs for wood. So let me see how this smoke, and I will be doing rates again on the weed I smoke. Or the Rellos I do, cause I'm, I know y'all y'all like that. Y'all was messing with that, so I'm gonna do race again for y'all. You know, for the people, cause I love y'all. So, bro, back to asking you these questions. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just you started you started smoking cause you you know mm -hmm. just cause, but like, how did you feel when you were smoking? Like, not of course you was blow, but like, what was the feeling? Like, you know, what was the the mm of it? You know, it was like. 
It was like a funny ass feeling. Like every time I smoke, you already know it's like nigga. I just had to laugh like at every little dumb shit. And like, right. I'd be left like, like at least two or three minutes, stomach hurting and shit. You know when you laugh so fucking long, your stomach get tightened up and shit. Yeah. And you can't breathe. That's how the fuck you be. And like that shit. That shit was just fun. But you know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm a lazy nigga too. Like I'm not gonna take the time and put the time to forth and roll it some shit every fucking time. So like, I was like, I would just pull me up some shit. And like drinking make me feel way better. Than it do. Um, so what would be? Oh my God, did y'all see that? Mm. Pick up that nugget. So what would you be? Your funniest moment smoking weed since you're such a funny guy when you're blown. Funniest moments. Well, I ain't but my most funniest moment high. Yeah, it was off of Adderall, so I okay. ain't gonna, It wasn't even no smoking type shit anyway. Like, cause like it was so fucked up. Mm-hmm. It's me and me and motherfucking Chris was walking from the stove and I started feeling funny. <laughs> I forgot I had took that bitch. I'm like, bro, I'm feeling weird as fuck. Then I came in the crib. We had sat down. And when I sat down, and I was on FaceTime with a bitch. But like I thought I had my phone like this. But that bitch was like this. She was like, Y'all your phone like that. You got your auto rotation. I'm like, no the fuck out of the whoopie whoop. Here come Chris like, nigga, you high as hell, your eyes ready as fuck. Like that was like my first funniest time. Then I tried to get some motherfucking water to bring my high down. I just threw it on myself on some high shit. <laughs> he told my dumb ass, it's not how you fucking do it. <laughs> so I'm just like, fuck it. So I'm just like, fuck this bitch took me for a ride. This shit, and I just, right. like that bitch literally had me out of space for it. Like I thought I was out of space when I was in the kitchen. And I was jumping from tile to tile. Like I was just out of space. That shit had me fucked up. I never take out of school again. <laughs> Unless I find I got cancer or something. So before, so before I ask you my next question, I just have to ask you this: Did you bring the wood to look at it or to smoke it? You know what I'm saying? We can smoke this bitch. All right, that's all. That's all I was. I was waiting on that too. You know what I'm saying? Smoke this bitch. I don't wait on me. I catch up, baby. I catch up. It's a whole. It's a whole lot of salt in that water, baby. Oh my daddy, these bitch clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should have been burning already. Thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. What, what we do is what, you know. What we do is what we do, you know. Like, damn. What's Mr. Crab daughter name? Pearl. Oh, yeah, I did to do that. <laughs> damn. You big like Pearl. That's just tight. That bitch Mm-hmm. Yeah, So, you say your funniest moment was high off of edible, and like, how, what is? How do you feel about edibles? I mean, they straight. In effect, I don't like that bitch because like it was like a little ass piece. Right. It was like this little, and that bitch had me off my ass. So imagine like with the full bitch. I'm like. And I was like, that bitch ass, and it tasted funny like when I bit that bitch and ate it. That little nasty ass taste. And that bitch, that bitch kicked my ass when I said that bitch was ass. Man, this wood just hit me back. Y'all hit that. Y'all, y'all hit that wood. Mm-hmm. Now pass that shit to my camera, man. Good looks. So, would you recommend an edible to others? Like, would you recommend an edible to the tar smokers, to the viewers? Shit, that edible, hell yeah. That bitch that had your ass having fun. Like, I don't know about other edibles, because I heard about other edibles. Like, yeah, that bitch ain't hit me whoopie whoop. I mean, it, sometimes it really worries or it matters about the milligrams in the blunt. I had a thousand THC, I had a thousand milligram edible. And that's when I was at the recent New Year's party. Yeah. I yeah, y'all ass is off your shit. Yeah. yeah. Sleep. Yeah. 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 And that right. bitch whooped his ass. Yeah. But hey, <laughs> but hey, I do it again. And you know why? I was high as hell. I swear. So, to my SWS squad, you know, to my smokers, let me know down in the comments down below how y'all feel about edibles. Should people eat an edible more or eat with THC more or smoke more? That's the question for y'all. 
And also, y'all make sure y'all spam the comments with SWS. Make sure you get them likes to 100. And make sure you get this video to 1,000 views. And I'll be dropping another banger after another banger. So, bro, off the weed subject, how did you come about photography, man? I've seen a couple of your pictures. I've seen most of your work. Probably because I was there most of the time or sometimes. But it'd be so right. You know, like, it, it's, it's like right there. Right angle, right, uh, what do you call it? You know, you, you really capture the moment, but, oh, filter. There you go. Sorry, had a brain fart. You really be having the right filter sometimes, you know, like the right picture. How do you, how did you just come about it? You know, how did you capture the moment like that? Oh, no, like, Shit. Like, I always, I always had my thing with, like, taking pictures type of shit. Right. And shit like that. But, like, every time, like, like when I went back back to my school days, like, niggas always like, bro, take this picture. Because, you know, niggas like to take their pictures in school with the wool and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, like, that. So, like, when I took that picture, I always make sure, like, it's right. With, like, I get the angles for them and everything. And like take multiple pictures and that and that mo and that like spot right there with you, and it just come out right. And I I just thought to myself like I'm gonna give me a camera. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start for time. Right. So just from taking people pictures in the hallways, it inspired you. Yeah. That's all that matter, man. Blow this wood so I can show my so I can show the SWS family. Uh, blow, you know, you always see my woods with papers. Let me show you without one. Of course, you spoke to figures. It's like, you know, it's like ET figures. It's been really like E.T. Finger. No e. cap. Very cloudy. So, <laughs> before we end this video, before we get these things right, Before we, before we end this video, oh, let's get the things right. Let's take the thumbnails out. Take the thumbnails out. All right. So, y'all here the first. Make sure y'all check out Rose Photography page. Make sure y'all always stay smoking. And make sure you go subscribe. If you're seeing this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. And always remember, stay smoking, you dig?